Welcome to Old Classic Car and here we are looking at the Ford Transit van, the Transit Mark 1, Mark 2, Mark 3 and Mark 4. And to begin with we're down at the NEC and we have a 1966 uh, camper van with its pop-up lift-up roof there in evidence. Uh, these were very smart, very car-like to drive and that was the whole idea of the Transit when it was first launched in October of 1965. Here to Steam Rally, we've got another Mark 1 Transit here, rear three-quarter view of a long wheelbase van, twin wheels on the back, Moss Bay Metals are the owners of this particular Transit, very smart it is too, in it's green livery, all sign written, very very smart indeed. Next up, we're slightly later, we've got an R registration Transit here, this is a Mark 4, one of the smileys, but this is quite rare because it's a flare side pickup. Um, you often see vans and wooden back pickups, but this is a flare side harking back to uh, the steel bodied pickup trucks of the 1950s, the Thames E83W, very similar style body. Now over to Alton Park, we have another Mark 1, and you can tell this is a diesel powered uh, transit because of the longer front, the longer snout, or the pig snout front end as they called it. This one was used as a music stage by the looks of it, whether it was actually road legal or just towed there, I'm not quite sure. but. Uh, anyway, Alton Park, and this was in the auction area this time, we've got a Mark II Transit. So this is still very first generation as they were called, the Mark I's and the Mark II's. This was a facelift of the Mark I, uh, introduced in 1977. Various new engines and a slightly longer front, um, different styling headlights and so on. Back to the Mark I's, we've got another petrol powered Mark I here, and this is a coach built ambulance. Um, and judging by the sign above the windscreen, this was Michelin's own works ambulance. What a bobby dazzler that is too, DIA 1979 is the registration on this particular Ford Transit. What a great little vehicle that is, and there's a rear view, you can see all the rear end is coach built, so this one would have been provided as a chassis and the front end of the cab, and then bodied specially as an ambulance for Michelin. Next up we have another Smiley Transit, a Mark IV on an S-plate, this one's a heavy duty breakdown recovery truck, operated by G&G Autos. The early one, we've got a pig snout one here, so this has got the Perkins diesel engine apparently, a chassis cab, this was also at Alton Park in the classic vehicle auction area quite a lot of Fords coming from a private collection on this particular sale as I remember and included amongst them was this great old transit I wonder where it is now what are the plans for that now to the Isle of Wight bus and coach museum if you've not already seen the video um, this will be new to you but there is a video all about that place and here we've got a specially bodied mark II transit based minibus quite a rarity it does need a lot of work from what I remember reading those information boards but a very rare survivor indeed now this was at an auction sale held at Donington Park quite a few years ago and we've got a G-Reg Mark 1 Ford Transit chassis cab, looks to be fully restored just waiting a new body to go on the back, I wonder what happened to that one, this was quite a few years ago that I photographed this particular Transit so if you know where it is now please let me know. This was at a VSCC event and parked up was this very bonny little ice cream van N853 ODW based on the Mark IV, the uh, le revised facelifted second generation Ford Transit. Mr. Fresh Whip is the operator of this particular one. Back to camper vans, another Mark I Transit here. This is one on the G plate of so late 1968 or early 1969. This has got a side hinged lift up roof on this particular one. So there are many different types of camper van based on the Ford Transit. And here is one found at a steam rally. I think the owner, now I've got a feeling um, this uh, is the same van or the same camper van and I think the owner is into his stationary engines judging by that trailer on the back and all the gubbins in the back I think he is an exhibitor of stationary engines but if you know more about this van now please pop a note into the comments because it's always interesting to read your thoughts on the vehicles featured. This was parking up at Alton Park just in a public car parking area but it's a Mark II based circuit what 1984 or thereabouts on a b-plate mark ii transit camper again it looks like it's got a lift up roof but it's down, obviously in the lowered position for driving around very wide wheels on this one though so that looks nice now to a standard panel van 
down at the NEC Classic Car Show, you do get a few light commercial vehicles there. And here we've got another petrol engined Mark 1. These uh, transits, these replace the 400D, the Thames 400D, the flat fronted forward control Thames. Um, and that was the last time we saw the Thames name. The transit never mentioned Thames. Okay, another Mark 4 Ford Transit here on a T plate. Second generation facelift with a smiley grille. And this is a camper van. This was seen at Lowton Park at one of the hill climb events. And I thought I'll grab a quick photo of that um, because I knew at some point I would build a collection all about the transit. Down to Malvern now for this one. Another Mark 1 NJU 625P. That dates it to 75 or early 1976. And another variation of the camper theme. This one with a sleeping area extending over the front of the cab like a Luton body almost. To the Crew Heritage Centre we've got a long wheelbase Mark II transit van here, twin wheels on the back and a side access door no less. T registration so August 1978 onwards this particular van was registered. Really nice condition this one too. There's a rear three-quarter view of the same vehicle so yeah it's got a side access door with glazing and a huge one-piece rear door at the back. You had the option of two, you know, two individual doors side hinged, or in this case, one large single door. Just in the background, you don't see too many Mark III's, I think this is. So this is a Duetto, another camper based on the Mark III, I believe, for transit. By this point in time, it's very much a mono body, whereas the Mark 1s and the 2s have a distinctive separate bonnet. The Mark 3s and 4s introduced the mono body, like you see there. And here, back to the good old Mark 1. This is an F plate 1967 or early 1968, and this has a drop side wooden body on it. This, I think, was at the Smallwood Vintage Rally where we saw this one. This was a joint development. Uh, Ford of Britain and Ford of Germany collaborated to produce the Transit. I think it was the first time they'd sort of uh, joined forces. Here we've got a Mark II panel van on a T-plate from 1978. The uh, Transit name actually was first used on the Taunus or Taunus Transit in Germany. Um, but this video is mainly looking or solely looking at the Mark I to Mark IV Transit here in the UK. And another camper van here based on the Mark 1. This is on a K plate, uh, 1971 or 72. Very large rear view mirrors on this particular one. Um, but yeah, in beautiful condition with Zeffo uh, wheel trims by the look of it. This was a few years ago at Donington Park at one of their commercial vehicle gatherings. And I got a very, very smart Mark 1 Transit here um, with a wooden drop side body. What does it say on the back there? Tree specialists, uh, they own this particular vehicle. And there's an old horse-drawn uh, carriage in the back there. Back to one of the smileys on an R plate. So that puts it about 1997. And a really smart, repainted, I think, uh, wooden drop side body on this particular transit. But yeah, very clean looking truck indeed. Back to campers, and this was in the auction area, I believe, at the NEC Classic Car Show. Uh, on a G plate, this particular vehicle, 1968, and another variation of camper van based on a good old transit. Um, campers tend to lead an easier life than normal panel vans, which get usually driven into the ground, hence the large number of survivors. Now, this was over in Portugal. I photographed this lineup of cars. There's a Renault there, you can see. But there's also a Mark 1 or a Mark 2 Transit stripped out there on the left hand side. So I'm not quite sure if that's a 1 or a 2. Um, I'm sure uh, enthusiasts of their Transit will uh, know exactly whether this is a Mark 1 or 2, but from the rear they are very similar. And here, a much modified, I suspect, Mark 2 Transit. Is this one of the four wheel drive Transits? I know some of them are four wheel drive. And looking at that sticker on the front, I think I'm probably correct in between all these Sibby lamps on the front there. So that's quite a rare survivor. And here is another wonderful drop side Mark 1 Ford Transit pickup from 1966. This was at um, the Aldridge Transport Museum. There is a separate video for that one already on the channel. Very interesting little place. It's well worth viewing that vid if you haven't seen it yet. And amongst the exhibits is this cracking old Ford. Now, this was a rally event held at Western Park and done up as a rally car support vehicle was this diesel powered pig snout Mark 1 Ford Transit dating to about 1975 or early 76. 
beautifully turned out this one with all the period livery on it what a bobby does though that is and i do love the uh, the rack on the roof for carrying all the spare wheels and car parts and you can just see the mark one escort on the side there um, that accompanied it but yeah beautiful one wheel base twin wheels at the back very very smart indeed and that's why i've included two photos of it because it's just such an eye-catching old van there's a mark four i think this was um seen active duty it's carrying an austin a40 countryman um, i can't remember where i saw this and photographed this but what a great sight that was i doubt very much whether the transit's still on the road those front arches were very prone to rusting out now here we have two photographs possibly of the same high roof mark one transit um, i'm assuming it's the same vehicle but let me know in the comments if i'm wrong but what this was used for i'm not quite sure maybe a mobile library or something like that very deep windscreen on it so it's obviously supplied just as a chassis in the front end and here possibly i assume is the same van several years later is it's got a k registration the previous photo didn't show a registration so i'm not 100 percent sure it's the same van but i'm pretty certain it is looking a lot healthier still a bit of paintwork to do on there there's a bit of primer here and there but yeah that's probably a unique survivor many years ago i went with a couple of friends and we went to retrieve this old uh, ice cream van um, what i'm talking about a milk a milk float sorry an electric milk float and we used their transit and here it is just a little bit of tin worm setting into the front arches there. Like I say, they were very prone to rotting out there. Here's a photo from one of the uh, people who've helped out in the past with photographs for the old classic car site. And this is uh, Keith's family's uh, plant hire business. And they had a whole gathering there of Mark 1 Transit vehicles. Some of them have got opening side doors, others haven't if you look closely. Here's a beautiful Mark 1 that I spotted at the NEC. Um, yeah, these were lovely. The V4 petrol engine, the Essex, the Ford Essex engine featured in these, I believe, at least in the UK market. I needed all the option of the diesel, of course. This one's got the twin rear wheels and the flared rear arches as a result on the back there. And there you can see a closer look at the rear three quarter view of this M range van. So that dates it to late 73 or early 1974. But good ones of these getting very hard to find and sell for very strong money now. Carrying on with these classic transits, we've got a Mark II fire truck here, it would seem. I'm not quite sure what the livery is there on the bonnet. Um, it's a right-hand drive, though, so if you know more about this, yeah, you can see some livery just on the back there as well. But if you know more about this particular transit, then with a crew cab, it would appear, uh, please let me know in the comments. Back to the Mark Ones. I've got a very smartly turned out Mark I here. Uh, the drop side wooden body on it as well. This looks like a one-off body very smart it is too i think that's a one wheelbase chassis we can see there this one dates to late 67 or early 1968. now mark three camper very very few of these i've seen to, in order to photograph so they don't appear too often here um, but yeah this is going off the grill this is a mark three so the first of the the mono body if you like transits this on an e-plate dating it to 1987. Another Mark 1, this was in the auction area at the NEC Classic Car Show in, I think, 2022. And this one sold very well, north of £60,000, if I remember correctly. So good vans in that kind of condition, very sought after now. Here we've got a Mark 2, silver and black number plates, which it wouldn't have had back in the day, but is legal now. This is on a B plate, so that's 1984, the Mark 2 long wheelbase drop side pickup. Nice. There's a Mark 1 camper van here, and again, it's got the longer front. You can see the comparison between the two. The orange van has the shorter nose for the petrol engine, and the one in the foreground has the longer snout in order to accommodate the Perkins diesel engine. Um, like I say, these were initially built at Langley in Berkshire, um, but production, because of the popularity of the transit later, it had to move to a purpose-built facility in Southampton. And here's a very sad-looking Mark 1 with a beaver tail body and the remains of one of those fastback sunbeam rapiers on it. That has clearly been parked there a very, very long time. Somewhat shinier and happier in preservation is this S-registered. So what is that? It's about 1977 or 1978. 
diesel powered uh, Mark 1 Transit, standard wheelbase van there. Really, really smart example that is. This was in Quimbra in northern Portugal. We saw this one, it was obviously on a tour of the country. Uh, I'm not quite sure where this one is from. It's obviously left hand drive, but I don't recognize that registration plate. Bit of a unique livery and graphics going on on this particular one. So it, uh, yeah, it looks like it needs a little bit of TLC, but still on the road. Now here's an interesting project, I think, judging by the little photo, which we'll have a closer look at in a minute on the bulkhead there. I think this is a project to recreate the wonderful old Ford Supervan, the Mark I Transit Supervan. Let's just see if the original photo pops up in a moment. Yep, there it is, the Transit Supervan. Several of these were made as the uh, Transit was changed over the years. The original van, you can see there, was scrapped in the 1970s. It had a 5-litre V8 engine out of a GT40 race car. Uh, four Weber carburetors, the five-speed gearbox, over 435 brake horsepower this had, but sadly it was chopped up. Now we've got a couple of transits here, and there's another one of the lesser spotted Mark III's at the top left there. This was photographed behind a car museum that used to exist in St David's in South Wales. And at the bottom right there, we've got another good old Mark I Transit diesel. Still a few more transits to go. Back to camper vans, a diesel powered camper van, this one from 71 or thereabouts. This was seen at a vehicle rally held in Wem in Shropshire. I do like that wood effect down the side and again there's so many different variations of these Ford Transit based campers and that's something that I found particularly interesting when I was getting all these photos together. There's a review of the same one. So many different variations. Just a few more classic transits to go. Another one of Keith's photos from their old plant services business, Litchfield Plant Services Limited. And we've got a Mark I here, a pickup. Well, not a pickup, it's a flatbed, isn't it? On an F registration, so late 1960s. It appears to have a what, one of these small compact rollers on the back. And just to round off, slightly newer, but quite interesting. This was a one-off in the spirit of the old super vans of the 70s and 80s. This is the Super Sport van. This was seen at the Chumley Pageant of Power years and years ago. Again, 700 brake horsepower, just a one-off build, just to promote the Ford Transit. And there we go. That's this collection of photographs featuring most of the Ford Transits that I've seen at shows and events over the last 15, 20 years or so. And uh, I'll keep an eye out for many more at shows this year, and I'll try and photograph some more in case I do a part two. Thank you very much for watching. Please take a look at the rest of the channel if you're new here, and there'll be many, many more videos about cars, vans, trucks, and so on before too long. So thanks for now. Bye-bye.